So as I've mentioned quite a few times now, um, one thing which I'm really keen uh, to try and improve is my wildlife photography. Um, and you probably saw in my recent vlog I, I did some photography uh, with rabbits and I really, really enjoyed that. I've also had a few sessions where I've gone out and tried to do a little bit of wildlife photography um, and haven't really come up with much. Um, it's one of those things that I think you've just got to keep trying and just keep practicing. Anyway, so, so one thing which I was really keen to do was to try and find one location that wasn't too far from where I live, which I could come out to on regular occasions and um, try and find some wildlife. Um, and that's why I'm here now. Um, so I thought what would be quite interesting would be to take you on a little scouting trip um, just to, to see, well yeah, just, to, just so you can follow my, my journey with this really. Um, so I've come to this spot which I found um, in Gloucestershire and it's a place which looked quite promising on Google Maps. Um, and so the purpose of today was really just to kind of scout out the area um, see if there's any wildlife around or signs of wildlife um, not put myself under too much pressure to actually take any images so you know, I can't guarantee that I will get any images from this trip um, but I thought it would be fun just to take you out um, with me and, and vlog this just as I'm doing a, essentially a scouting mission really on, on a location um, it's a new location it's the first time I've ever been here um, so I've no idea what it's going to be like um, it's looking pretty good um, on first impressions, I must admit, I've just parked the car, um, we've got the road just up there, so I've just parked the car up there, and um, I'm going to take a little bit of a walk, um, I'll take the camera, um, I'll show you around, and we'll see if we can find any signs of interesting wildlife. I'm hoping there'll be signs of deer, maybe hares as well, I know that um, Hannah has a spot not too far from here where um, she sees hares quite often. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a wander around and, and just see if we can find anything. That's the other main reason actually whilst I'm out here is because I decided that I was gonna start up doing some wildlife photography. The first couple of trips which I did, I actually went to one of Hannah's top secret hair locations. Um and <laughs> And yeah, that got me into a little bit of trouble because uh, she basically was like, no, you can't do vlogs from our hair, ha my hair location. T can't tell anyone where it is. Um, and yeah, she was sort of saying, find your own location. So that's what I've done. Um, I've tried to find my own location. And um, yeah, don't tell her, but I reckon this might be better. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to lay my, lay my little stake in there and, and see if I can claim this location as, as being mine. Okay, I can't believe it. I literally just stopped doing my intro vlog. Walked a couple of yards and found a badger set. Wow, it's amazing and it's, it's fresh. It looks like it's still in use. Um, I say it's the middle of the day at the moment, so I don't think I'm going to be disturbing them too much. I'm just gonna take a little walk around. We've got one hole down here. Um, you can see there's a path here which the badgers will be following in and out of their set. There's another trail leading down to the stream. Um, there's a few more holes at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little wander up the hill a little bit and um, yeah, just see if I've, see if there's more more signs of badgers. If I can find some footprints, fresh scratch holes, um, scratch marks on trees, these are all signs of badgers. So I'm going to have a look around and see if I can find some droppings, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's amazing, and it's literally just by where I park the car. So I would love to get some photos of badgers. It's just, it's kind of one of my absolute dreams um, for wildlife photography, but they are notoriously hard to photograph. Apart from anything else, they're nocturnal. So to get photographs of them in reasonable light, I understand is just very difficult. So, but this is a really good location. It might be possible Maybe to set down, set up here 
just later on before sunset just to see if we can see any signs of it but there's plenty of cover over the other side of this little valley there I, I do know that you need to be downwind of them and have so that your scent isn't blown onto them to stand any chance of, of seeing them um, but there isn't any wind here today so um, I think there's plenty of options of places to, to go and hide for, for cover so I take another little explore around here to see if I can, you know, suss out how big this set is and how active it is. So yeah, really exciting. I'd love to get some badger photography done. That would just be absolutely amazing. Yeah, so I've kind of had a bit of a wander around. Um, yeah, we'll pop back here later on once it starts getting a little later. And I might just sort of sit out for a while and just see if anything comes. Um, There's another badger set here. Oh my word, this place is like, it's Badger City. It's amazing. Okay, so it looks like I found my location for photographing badgers. I've got badger set here, badger set back there. No excuses, Sam, for not getting photographs of badgers. I don't know what's caused this path, but there's a little gap under the, the fence there, which is obviously a route that's often used by an animal. And there's also a little trail just heading into those bushes there, which then disappears through that fence. Um, now the trail leads off up the hill. Um, I wouldn't want to say but this is the sort of thing I've seen hares use before. So, I mean, you know, it could be anything, but it might be a hare. Oh, that would just be amazing. I'm going to have a little wander around, see if I can see any more signs of anything. Look at this. Now, I don't think it's badger hair, because we've got a slight red tinge on the side there. But for my days as a fly fisherman, which I haven't done much of recently, but I used to tie flies, um, this looks a lot like deer hair to me, which I used to use when tying flies. I could well be wrong. Um, if you know any better, if you know what this is, please let me know. <laughs> I'd love to know what's here. Um, I'm not convinced a deer's been going under this fence. But having said that, we've got fur on the side, and it was. And that made me think maybe it was a badger, first of all, but I don't. I don't think it is. It looks like deer hair to me, it's quite long. Hoo -hoo. The valley's sort of opened up a bit now into these fields. Um, and I think, I think this might be a nice spot for some early morning shoots to try and get some deer, that kind of thing. There may be hares around. Um, now I've not had an awful lot of success photographing hares, so yeah, I have seen them. And normally when I see them, it's normally in the morning. I haven't seen them in the evening very much. Yeah, hares aren't much of a priority for me today. If I see something, great. Um, and I, I really think that this, this is prime area really for them. So um, I reckon that they'll be around. So I think what I'm going to do now is head back to where the badger sets were, just to give myself lots of time before the evening closes in too much, just to get ready. We're back here now at the first badger set and I'm just trying to judge the wind direction. So where I'm standing at the moment is actually blowing ever so slightly the scent 
back onto the set, so this isn't going to be a good location. Um, so yeah, it might be that I have to get up the bank a little bit. Um, let's try and find a decent view down to where the holes are. But you know, ideally I'd want to be set up somewhere with a view of a hole. So I'm going to have a little bit of a wander around now and just sort of check out the area and just try and find the best location. And then once I've found that, then I'll settle down and just, uh, yeah, just get set up there and wait until it gets too dark and hopefully we might see some badgers. I've got about an hour and 15 minutes before sunset. Um, you know, not that there's going to be a sunset because it's overcast, but I'm just thinking in terms of the time badgers might start to become active. So I'm going to get the camera set up. I've chosen this spot here, um, which, yeah, is not very far away from the set here but it is downwind. Um, but we've also got a view of the set over there. If I just spin you around, I'm just probably just about make out where the main hole of that set is. So, you know, my plan today, this was kind of a scouting trip. So my plan today is not, not to rule out getting photos, but I'm not here to get the absolute killer photos. My main reason for being here actually is just to see what wildlife there is. So if I can see a badger, that would be amazing. If I can capture it on film for you guys, that would be amazing. If I can get a, a decent photograph, well, yeah, who knows, but um, I think my plan on this little badger photography uh, project which I think this is going to become, I think this is going to become a, a project for me for wildlife photography, will be to come here repeatedly um, and just see, see if we can see them first of all, see if they come out at a reasonable enough time, because I know some badger groups won't co will not come out until after sunset, so um, they can be very difficult to photograph. So ideally what you want is to find some early risers in the badger community. Um, so yeah, I don't have many hopes for this particular trip, but if I can just see badgers here, I'll be so happy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get the camera out. Um, I'll probably wait until the dog walkers go back past before I stick the camouflage on, because like I said, I don't want to scare them. Um, <laughs> that would be that would be embarrassing. Um, but yeah, we'll get, we'll get some camera on a bit later. Um, I've got this tree here which is going to provide some cover for me, the camera itself I think I'm going to set up here. I'll get the tripod down quite low. Um, the faint breeze that there is is moving in the right direction so I think this is probably quite a good spot and also my view of the set itself is um, fairly unobscured so that's good too. So yeah, I think I'll get set up, grab a coffee and um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I know I'm probably not the best wildlife photographer in the world. I'm certainly not the most experienced wildlife photographer in the world. So I, I kind of feel like not best place to start giving tips on wildlife photography but a couple of tips which have been passed on which might be useful gloves for one so I've got gloves on because apparently just the white of your hands when you go to move your lens or take an image that can really spook um, animals out I also don't know how effective it's going to be but I've got a bit of a camouflage net which I've just draped over the camera which will hopefully Either, well, hopefully it'll provide, hopefully it'll make it less conspicuous. It could well make it more conspicuous, I'm not sure yet. Um, and also, I'm dressed up like a Muppet in some camouflage. The main purpose of this is just to scare walkers as they go past, because it's just kind of a hobby of mine. It's lurking in bushes, wearing camouflage, looking like a weirdo, which I definitely do right now. But yeah, I don't know how important this is. It's probably not very important. But I figured as I've got it in the bag, I may as well put it on. 
and I've also got my snood so I can look really 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 suspicious that's the idea the more suspicious you look the happier the badgers maybe we'll see Despite waiting until after it got dark, I didn't manage to see any badgers on this occasion. However, I do think this would be a really good spot to put out a camera trap. So my plan is to put a camera trap in this location, and then hopefully that will tell me what sort of time the badgers become active, and this should give me a better chance next time. I did come back to this location the following morning, and I had a lot more success. So if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to our channel, and check out my next video to see how I got on. actually have a deer just the other side of this mount. So I'm just going to call up with the camera to see if I can get some shots.